Hey, what's going on guys? This is Karkin again from my reviews channel and welcome back to a new video. Today's video is not going to be about a ROM, but it's going to be about how you can change the touch sound and the uh, haptic feed sound on your phone. And if you don't have a power on, power off sounds, we can get that for you too. And if you do have power on, power off and they're annoying you and you want to mute them, I can show you that too. So, um, I have the Jedi x20 and it's a 4.1.2 touch with rom and i don't like uh, the 4.1.2 touch with rom sound so i uh, i usually get a 4.3 touch with rom and get the sounds uh, the sound sounds files from that rom and put them on, on my rom and here i'll show you how to do that uh, all you need to have is two apps es file explorer and uh, ROM toolbox first of all we need to go to um, ROM toolbox and mute the uh, the system files that we have on our current ROM so we can make them useless and th so we can replace them with uh, uh, other files you're gonna go ahead and uh, go to system I'll show you again root browser now you go to a uh, ROM toolbox and then you go to root browser and then you go to system media audio UI and then here are all the sounds files on your ROM the ROM you have we can do the same thing to the dialer here I have the Note 3 dialer sound. See, like, if you go to uh, letter P, we don't have a power on, power off uh, file, so that means I don't have any of those on my current ROM. The SHW is the uh, haptic feed sound file, so all we have to do to, to mute the file is to press and hold and change the name. Ch by changing the name, I mean you can just put I mean number one right here or you can change the OGG to BAK either one will um, immune the file now this file is useless it's not gonna work if you reboot you if you reboot your phone you won't have a haptic uh, feed sound same thing goes for the touch whiz. TW touch. Gonna do the same thing. Rename. Add a number one wherever. Or number two or anything else. Just just mess with the name and then it won't work. That now these two files are useless. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, head to a uh, ES file explorer, and I have the uh, SkyNote ROM 4.3 version and uh, we'll go there storage external I like the SkyNote ROM because it has all the files that I need and I actually ext uh, uh, extracted it right here but you would actually you go to the ROM zip file itself and click on it and yes uh, zip viewer system media audio and then press and hold on UI and then hit extract and you you choose the path that you where you want your file to be at and then like if you click here you will see all the files that you need to uh, transfer to the to the current ROM like this is the dialer right here I can how it sounds like See, that's how your uh, new dollar is going to sound like. So, and you can see like power on, power off uh, files right here. We're going to take these files and dump them in our new system, in our current system, so uh, we we'll get it. We get the same sounds as the uh, SkyNote. Now we're going to go to a ROM toolbox, and then root browser.
storage external card and then to wherever we put fi our file at i have it on my skynote file folder i mean and then I click on it right here first of all first one i'm going to do uh, the power on power off files and we will just hit multi-select and then just uh, click on power on power off and then hit copy and then just go up 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 i don't know i i, I clicked on the at and then go system media audio and then ui and then paste after we paste them we will just go ahead and change the permissions on the files in order for them to work and uh, to do that we have to press on hold on one of them and permissions make sure you un uncheck the last three from execute and uncheck another one from write so you would have three on read and one on write hit ok same thing goes for power on permissions uncheck the last three uncheck one here and then uh, that's it you're set to go reboot and then you will notice that your uh your your phone will have a power on sound and same thing goes for the uh touch sound and the haptic feed sound now we're going to go to uh storage and we're going to head on to you know where we have our file extracted ex extracted and then we just get the other files sky note right here and i'm going to get multi-select i'm going to get the uh the haptic feed one first which is the s shw touch this is one and we have the other one which is the tw touch and then copy back to the main page go system media audio ui and then paste and we're going to do do the same exact thing just go ahead and change the permissions on the same on the files i mean and then reboot and you will have the the get uh, the note 3 sound on your phone even though it's a 4.1.2 um touch with rom just press and hold permissions and same goes for the other one and that's it you're set to go after that just as i said reboot and you will have those nice uh, uh, s4 note 3 sounds um that's it for today guys and if you have any question any concern any rom in mind that you would like me to review on my channel please hit me up down below in the comment section and uh, feel free to subscribe and like and share and as always thank you for watching guys and you have a great day bye bye